If you broke a doll, don't just throw it out. We know how to fix broken arms and legs, make a new hairstyle, clean her plastic skin, and give old dolls a new life. Watch our new video to learn how to fix broken toys. Rosie shows Redhead her favorite doll, the beautiful Elsa. This doll is perfect. Oops, at least it was until Redhead broke off her arm. But she'll fix it right away. Trim part of a toothpick. Sharpen the end and glue it into the doll's arm socket. Use multi-purpose glue. Glue the second part of the toothpick into the doll's torso. And the broken arm works just like it did before. Redhead knows how to heal this broken arm. Just a second and her shoulder is fixed. The best part is the doll's owner didn't notice. But Rosie noticed something else. Her favorite doll is dirty. How can I remove these spots from my doll's delicate skin? Redhead has a life hack. To clean stains from a doll's plastic arms, mix equal parts of chlorine bleach and vinegar. Soak the doll body parts in the mixture and leave them out for six hours. Wrap the doll's torso with saran wrap and clean her legs with a Q-tip soaked in the cleaning mixture. Put the doll back together. Redhead returns the squeaky clean doll to her owner. The vinegar bath did her a world of good. This new age-defying serum really saves aging dolls. The girls are watching TV and Redhead suddenly notices that the Bratz doll has new shoes. But just yesterday this doll didn't even have feet. Where'd she get these? Make sneakers out of polymer clay. Heat the doll with a blow dryer and carefully remove her head. Attach the sneakers to the legs and put the doll in the oven. Bake according to the clay package instructions. Put the head back on the doll when it cools. Color the sneakers with acrylic paint. Glue on paper wings with double-sided tape. Decorate the doll's hair with a bow. Rosie made these sneakers for her wounded doll herself. They look great! Rosie scares Redhead with terrifying doll remains. What a freak show! These broken dolls turn into spooky toys. Is this Frankenstein's new monster? The girls try to resurrect at least one doll. And Rosie has the first successful result. It's an LOL ladybug. Remove the whole head from an old broken doll. Attach it to the body of an LOL doll. Put on doll shoes. Glue a bow onto her hair. Color her hands with skin-colored acrylic paint. What a cutie! This doll turned out pretty sweet. Playing with her isn't scary. Redhead's also experimenting with someone else's head. The resurrection operation of a Monster High doll was a success. Transfer the head from an old ruined doll onto the body of a Monster High doll. Make sure the color of the face matches the color of the body. The experiment worked! Now the girls have two new beautiful dolls. Not bad at all. Rosie's preparing for a Barbie beauty contest. This contestant clearly needs some extra hair. Maybe I should sacrifice some of my own. Or make a wig out of cardboard and twine? Hmm, that looks more like a helmet. Or maybe I should make a stylish head wrap out of a ribbon. But then Rosie gets inspired. The ribbon will make a fantastic wig. Cut the damaged hair off of a doll. Remove the rest of the hair with tweezers. Wrap the doll in saran wrap. Wrap her head with a dried out wet wipe. Secure it with thread. 
Apply two layers of Elmer's glue. When the glue dries, mark the edges of the wig in pencil. Remove the wipe and trim it along the outline. Put the wig base onto the doll. Cut a satin ribbon into even pieces. Melt one edge to seal it and fray the second. Stretch out crosswise thread down the whole piece. Glue the strands onto the wig base. Start with the back at the bottom. Trim the front strands into bangs. Glue a piece of ribbon in the middle. This will be how the hair gets parted. And unwind it on two sides. Glue it to the top of the wig. Remove the wrap and put the wig onto the doll. Adjust the length. Rosie brings out her beautiful doll. This bright pink wig makes the doll look a lot better. And Rosie already has another life hack for a bald doll too. A stylish short haircut and statement earrings make Barbie look unique and elegant. Color a doll's bald head with light yellow acrylic paint. Paint where her hair would be. Cut fluffy yarn into small pieces. Coat the head with Elmer's glue and use tweezers to attach the fluffy pieces. Cut the sharp edges off of a toothpick and attach rhinestones to them using multi-purpose glue. Insert the new earrings into the doll's ears. This doll used to be bald and now she looks like a supermodel. Rosie did her best. She was clearly born to be a Barbie stylist. Rosie wants to perform cosmetic procedures on her little LOL. She'll dye her hair and remove the bags from under her eyes. But it didn't work out so well. Thank goodness Redhead's coming to the rescue. She'll finish what Rosie started. Remove the LOL doll's head from its body and soak it in nail polish remover for four hours. Then repaint her hair on with acrylic paint. Sprinkle the hair with glitter. Color her eyes. Adjust her lips with acrylic paint. Put the head back on the doll. Redhead's very busy fixing up the tiny little doll. And here's the result. The LOL doll looks refreshed and restored. Like she spent the day at a doll spa resort. Rosie has such a cute doll. What's this weird stand instead of legs? Turns out Rosie reanimated an old doll without legs. Put a baby doll with no legs into an empty paint can. Attach a dress top made out of two ribbons. Seal the edge of a wide decorative ribbon and gather it up into a skirt. Cover the jar with the skirt. Decorate the doll's hair with a bow and attach a big bow and plastic flower to the dress. Put a candy into the doll's hands. Rosie gave this little baby a new life using an old can from paint. What a great life hack for recycling and reusing old things. Rosie's painting a picture, but she's missing some inspiration. At least Redhead can be the perfect model for the artist. Don't move! Let's add drapes. Posing for an artist isn't easy. At least Redhead inspired Rosie to make a little mermaid doll. Cut a top out of a foam sheet. Cut darts. Put the top onto a broken doll without legs. Glue the folds. Make a mermaid tail template out of paper. Trace the pattern on shiny fabric. Add seam allowances. Cut out two pieces. Sew the tail together from the wrong sides. Fill it with synthetic stuffing. Sew the middle of the tail for a bend. Glue a layer of foam sheet to a fin. Glue the fin to the tail. Put the tail on the doll. 
tie a shiny bow on the doll's head. Decorate it with a rhinestone. Attach a rhinestone to the bodice as well. Shape the waist and a fin with a second ribbon. How beautiful! Redhead likes her new friend a lot. The Little Mermaid looks great with her new tail. You can't even tell this doll used to be broken. Rosie wants her doll to go to bed, but she can't find a good place for it anywhere. This couch is too big for her Barbie. But Redhead remembers that there was a special bed just for Barbie around here somewhere. And where did it go? It's broken on a pile of old toys. So Redhead will have to work hard and fix it. Cut a rectangle out of thick cardboard to match the head and footboards of a broken doll bed. Cover the cardboard with soft fabric. Glue it to the boards. Cut a loop out of a microfiber cloth. Melt the edge and put it on like a blanket. Place a tiny pillow. Redhead brings out a new bed for Barbie and a matching set of sheets to go with it. Barbie will be so comfy under this soft blanket. Fixing the bed turned out to be easy and the doll can have sweet dreams. Did you like our life hacks to fixing broken toys? Then let us know in the comments about how you'll reanimate your old dolls. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new ideas for old toys on Troom Troom.